We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, everyone, to the Eucharist. My name is Father Nyang Li, and Father Thomas Torescu, Father Joseph Seung Nguyen, and Deacon Clement Buffo, and our reader today is uh, Clara Rizzi. The word of God come to us today is, do not be afraid. God know that we often afraid of different things. We worry about our work, our health, our family, our children, and we often think that uh, we are not worthy too. But the word of God come to us today, it, be not afraid. As the angel said to Mary, be not afraid, you have found favor in God. And the angel also said to Joseph, be not afraid, for the child will be born is conceived by the Holy Spirit. It's also said to us today too, be not afraid. Look, this two sparrow word only one penny, but the Father in heaven look after them. And you are much more worthy than the sparrows. Trusting in God's love, we come and ask God to help and to forgive our sins so we are worthy to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly, greatly seen in my, in my thoughts, thoughts, in my words, in what, in what I, have I have done and what and I have what failed, I have failed to, do, to do through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, I ask Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my right. brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace, peace to the people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore, we adore you, we glorify you, you. We give, we give you thanks, thanks for, for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, Only Begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of Son the, of the Father, Father, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world. Of the world. Receive, Receive our prayer. prayer. You are you seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Have mercy, Have mercy on, on us. us. For you, For you alone, alone are the, are the Holy, Holy One. one. You, you alone, alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone, alone are the Most High, High Jesus Christ, Christ with, with the Holy Spirit. Spirit. In, In the, the glory, glory of God, God the, the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray from the silence of our hearts. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please let us listen to the word of God. The first reading. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends, watch now for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. My opponents will stumble, mastered, 
confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize the loins and the heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them. For I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, Lord in your, your great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. Lord, 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 Lord your great, great love, love answer me. me. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favour. In your great love, answer me, O Lord, with your help that never fails. Lord, answer, for your love is kind. In your compassion, turn towards me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love, answer me. The poor, when they see it, will be glad and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in their chain. Let the heavens and the earth give praise to him, the sea and all its living creatures. Lord, in your great love, answer me. The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Sin entered the world through one man, and through sin, death. And thus death has spread through the whole human race because everyone has sin. Sin existed in the world long before the law was given. There was no law, and so no one could be accused of the sin of breaking law, yet death reigned over from all, from Adam to Moses, even though their sin, unlike that of Adam, was not a matter of breaking the law. Adam prefigured the one to come, but the gift itself considerably outweighed the fall. If it is certain that through one man's fall, so many died, it is even more certain that through divine grace, coming through the one man, Jesus Christ, came to so many as an abundant, free gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us stand to welcome the gospel. Hallelujah. The spirit of truth Let will bear Lord, witness to me, the says the Lord, the good news, my and God you, bless you also will be Lord. my witnesses. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Do not be afraid, for everything that is now covered will be uncovered, and everything now hidden will be made clear. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the daylight. What you hear in whispers, Proclaim from the housetops. 
Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Fear him, brother, who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Can you not buy two sparrows for a penny? And yet, not one falls to the ground without your father knowing. Why? Every hair on your head has been counted. So there is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of men, I will declare myself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. But the one who disowns me in the presence of men, I will disown in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are on the 12th Sunday of the ordinary time. And today, the Gospel of Matthew brings to us, do not fear or do not be afraid. What is that fear? Without having been much taught, our immediate thought comes to us, coronavirus. But again, the scripture also says, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But what is this fear? Fear comes from anxiety. Fear also related to, from the anxiety to the psychology, to our feelings and emotions. Fear has got a great force, which also can bring panic. We can also keep ourselves hiding. Also, we can also run away from fear. Also, it can spur us to fade in action. So in our ordinary understanding about the fear, it's very reality in each day in one's life. So in fact, Jesus beautifully consoles us that do not be afraid. He is all-powerful. There is a beautiful saying where Mahatma Gandhi says, your belief becomes your thought. Your thoughts becomes your words. Your words becomes your action. Your action becomes your habit. Your habit becomes your value. Your value becomes your destiny. So what is your belief and what is your destiny? To have a better understanding, there was a young man who was very brilliant in studying. He could score 100% in science. So he got admitted again in the IID, Indian Institute of Technology in Madras. He could excel in his studies too. For his further study, he went to University of California for his MBA, Master of the Business Administration. He did perform very well. He got a very good job with a handsome salary. He bought beautiful building. He bought beautiful car. He got married with a beautiful lady. He got it whatever he wants on dessert. But a few years ago, to the surprise, he got committed suicide. What went wrong was in the mind of everyone. So, California, the Institute of Clinic Psychology, had a case study. They came to a conclusion that he lost his job. He lost all the beautiful apartment. He lost his car. Finally decided with his wife 
to commit suicide. So he shot first wife, children, shot himself. But the real question is, why? If God gives everything, can you not expect to lose everything? In the scripture says, Jobs is a beautiful example. God has given, God has taken away. If God has given a beautiful sunshine, can you not expect rain? If God has given good, can you also not expect bad? In the first reading, we come across, for to you I committed my cause. God, Christ gave his life. To love us, everyone. He is the way, the truth, and the life, he says. In the second reading, we come across, God's mercy and grace came through one man, Jesus. Sin came through one man, Adam. God continues to create and recreate. Beautifully, Jesus advises to his disciples, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to be killed body, not the salt. Rather be afraid who kills, who destroys body and salt. We come to know that God is greater than human being. When God is a greater than human being, why we have to take away our decision? He is the one who continues to guide, leads, inspires spirit, powerful spirit who continues to guide, leads us, empowers us. If the sparrow is given important, God beautifully through the gospel says, can God not give us important to the human being? God, who is a God of love, is continuously saying, do not be afraid. To the surprise, do not be afraid is mentioned in the scripture for 365 times. We have got the 365 days. Every day, do not be afraid, we can use. So God, who came in the Jesus form, Jesus, who came to continue to love every one of us, by His grace and by His love, if you are not fully depending and relating on, then why to fear? If you relate, God is overall powerful. He leads us, He guides us. Spirit who strengthens us. The question for all of us is that, do we need to fear or do we need to trust in God's grace and mercy? It's a question for all of us. God bless all of us. Now let us please stand and profess our faith in the God, the God of love, the God of life, the God who saves. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, earth of all of things visible, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit were incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
my brothers and sisters, let us turn to our merciful and loving God who answered the prayer of those who seek him. For all members of the church called to live as witnesses to Christ and heralds of good news. In your goodness, Lord, hear our prayer. For nations seeking release from endless terror and violence. In your goodness, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are persecuted and those who live in fear and who must hide. In your goodness, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who promote the dignity of the poor and outcast in our society. In your goodness, Lord, hear our prayer. For the young of the world who desire the fullness of life. In your goodness, Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead and those who are grieving and recently deceased. Salvatore Caleo, Francesco Marino, Giuseppina Genovese, Antonio Gilino, Michael and Louis Holmes, Carlo Simoni, Jim Medcraft, Michael Chercop, Helen Di Bono, Concetta Bertoni, Pasquale Schipiletti, Sister Cornelia Fredo, Jews Bu Men Duck, and the anniversaries and remembrances of our relatives and friends and those whose names are listed in the bulletin. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Just and raised God, in you all things that are hidden are made clear. Hear our prayers and inspire us to proclaim your good news from the housetops. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and works of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by his action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as with our end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of, of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time we were betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever. Let us pray with confidence to God, our loving Father, in the word our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For in the power and the glory of the earth, now and forever. We pray for peace. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us all pray to the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And we pray that may the body and the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. On behalf of our absent brothers and sisters, we pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separate from you. Let us continue to pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure flesh of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's uh, from Monday, uh, the government allowed to, uh, us to gather uh, 50 people uh, for Mass. So uh, if you like to uh, attend Mass, please register at our parish office with Paula on uh, 9337-6016. Thank you. Now we ask God to bless us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for our Master's Day. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Father. Go Sing 